that's a bit better. So I got a camera. It's as you can see, I haven't really figured out how to use it yet. But we're gonna start to do vlogs as well. Um, so I'll have like two training videos and then two kind of vlogs per month. So we just there's no real structure to this one. It is a rest day, so I'm just gonna kind of take you through and show you kind of what I'm up to today um, on a rest day and basically what I'm doing when I'm not in the gym. So today I actually had physio this morning, so J R and R. Um, actually came to my house today, so that's proper first class treatment. It's usually only for his pros, but um, yeah, he came over this morning for half six, so he's just after leaving there, um, and now I will start my day. So routine usually stays the same every single day, except it's slightly pushed back when I have Jay, because he comes at half six, and then I obviously start my day from there, so. So this is my morning concoction. My morning subs, which I just put in there. Focus. And then, oh there it is. And then, they are my PM subs. So literally, I just put them to the side. So I'll have them this evening. Then I'll have 15 grams of this now. And these health subs. This is mad. <laughs> How do you fit your head in it? <laughs> you can't do me. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't know. That's it. No. <laughs> that's it's just too big, isn't it? Yeah, it's just too big. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, what first walk of the day? Um, I actually only have 7,000 steps. Is it? Oh, I'm looking at the screen, not the. Yeah, I always uh, do that as well. So, I have 7,000 steps per day. So, I would go and get kind of like, what, just over 3,000 boxed off now. And then kind of, I'll probably go for a second walk later in the day as well, just to get some more boxed off. But we'll see, depending on how many I get boxed off, just from doing my day-to-day -day bits, um, we'll see what we are later on in the day. But I'll go now, three, three and a half thousand um, done, then we come back and we will have meal one. Regardless of what time of the year, prep, off-season, I will always go for that morning walk. Maybe not as long, you know, in an off-season, but I will always go for that morning walk. Not even, just from more so a, a mental standpoint, Honestly, getting out in fresh air, even if it's raining or whatever, I haven't missed it over the past year because mentally it sets me up for the day. If I don't go on that walk, don't get that fresh air, mentally I'm, I just feel pretty down and low for the day in general. So I set, me, set myself up for a rebuilding day by just starting off with something that, that just fucking makes me feel good basically. Okay, so meal one is gonna be going down now, so I'll show you now. So we have 125 grams of rice, 150 grams of mince, 100 grams of berries and 30 grams of pepper so so this is how she looks you can tell the hunger start to creep up when veg is back in for me and then i have a coffee here as well and then Jen's having her coffee <laughs> and see this we got ourselves a whiteboard so honestly it's like christmas so we're going to uh i can't wait to write on this bad boy <laughs> we're going to put write up all our um our meals on this so games and then mine just so we have it there in front of us as well just in case we forget but yeah and that's been a few hours now since we woke up and i think another key point here is that during that time there's no social media and um, i think that's a big one and like i said the walks for me personally make me feel amazing and set me up for the day no social media as well honestly i i don't understand people who can literally get out of bed and straight on the social media. It used to be me in the past as well, and it just sucks the life out of you completely. So, um, yeah. Meal two is about to go down. I have boxed off the majority of check-ins there after meal one. So in between meal one and meal two, regardless if it's a rest day or a training day, I try and get a lot of check-ins boxed off, a lot of my work boxed off, because once I, once I have that morning kind of block, that's when I am most productive, so I like to try and box off as much as I can between between them two meals. Um, so now I'm gonna have the second meal, which I will show you now. Um, then what we will do is, I have a couple of bits to do after this, a um, bit more work to do, and then I'll probably go and get a few bits shopping wise, and run low on a few things food wise. So, so we have 125 grams of rice, 200 chicken, 
100 green beans, 50 avocado, 30 peppers, 100 apple, and a coffee. I drink coffee that much. That coffee, Jem actually made me that coffee with my first meal. I haven't drank it yet. Let me know if anyone else does this as well. I don't even know if I'm going to drink it. So I'll, this will probably sit here for like maybe like two days, maybe like a day or two, and then I might decide to drink it. Uh, but I'll drink it after two days, even when it's been sitting there cold. So I can't be the only one who does I actually know who does this. Meg does this as well, drinks her coffee after a few days. Surely other people have to do it as well. Um, but yeah, I probably won't even drink that now. I might do, we'll see how I feel after this meal. Um, but yeah, meal two, shopping, and I'll go through what I got. Are you gonna set the camera up so uh, you actually get yourself walking into Aldi? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Like it, a proper YouTuber. I'll get out of the car and I'll, I'll put it across the car park and then I'll get back into the car and record myself getting out of it. <laughs> hey, that's mad, isn't it? Fair play to people who do that because that's a full time job. <laughs> Mark vlogs. Mark vlogs. Hi, this is Mark. This is my food. Goodbye. <laughs> that's, if your video is like two minutes long, that's what it'll be like. Right, so we're going to run through what we got in the shop. So. Full shop today, we honestly probably had to get the majority of our stuff. So, apples, pineapples as well. Now, I use the pineapple slices, tin pineapple. I get a lot of shit for this. And, uh, rightly so. Rightly so. <laughs> this, for me, is the nicest. Fresh pineapple is nice, I don't like frozen pineapple, but this is the nicest. So, if anyone else prefers this as well, let me know because. The other people I guess shit for this. Peppers. Plenty of fucking peppers. Honestly, veg was my favourite. Peppers and green beans. We got loads of green beans as well. Then ones. I tried to get frozen green beans. I used to love the frozen ones from Aldi, but I have been able to get them in in a couple of months to be fair. I don't need to do them anymore, so I'll just go with the fresh ones. Uh, avocados. Avocados are back in. Hunger is up that little bit more now. I'm not forcing food down. So I have avocado in one meal on a rest day, which is today. So I had it in obviously the last meal that you saw. So uh, avocado, um, like I said, only in one meal. Rest days or training days. It's not even in a training day. Where are they? Washing the tablets. Fabric softener. Nobody wants to see the, the boring stuff. Right, so bananas, I will have these in, at the moment, my pre-workout meal. I have a banana, so so chicken. I get most of my meat from Aldi. Um, a lot of people will say that, you know, the quality, etc. isn't great. Um, to be honest, there's absolutely no problem at all with the quality from Aldi. Um, a lot of people go to the butchers, etc. Just get your meat wherever you want, wherever you prefer. Everyone says, like, shop from your local butcher, shop from, you know, um, small businesses do, of course, but we, we probably should probably do that as well. But um, it's just handy to get everything in Aldi when we go. So mince as well. So 5% fat um, lean mince. She had a couple of days. I have two meals rest days, three meals on training days. So a fair bit of mince at the moment. Frozen blueberries. Frozen fruit is... Lead. Apart from frozen pineapple, not a fan. But frozen blueberries, frozen berries in general, I, I love them. Frozen berries, I think, are, are absolutely key. So I have um, a lot of blueberries. Smooth almond butter. So smooth for now because hunger isn't crazy high. But as I get hungrier, that'll probably change to crunchy um, almond butter. And I'll have that in a couple of meals as well. I need them in. So that is everything. Obviously, there's, lo there's loads more of it in the bag but it's the same shit as you already see. Seasoning as well, I thought I'd get some because I keep on rubber gems. <laughs> so it's Cajun seasoning from Aldi. It's actually kind of spicy, isn't it? Kind of hot. I'm actually surprised you like it. Yeah, it's actually a little bit spicy, so I can only use a little bit because spicy things fucking kill me. I can't even, fun fact, if I got to Nando's, even like a mild Nando's um, is still nearly too hot for me. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really bad. Jam got a few more bits, she got our yogurt, strawberries, etc. But this isn't your vlog, so we're not gonna. I think uh, you should just show the rest of it as well. Um, but yeah, this is our shop today. 
as you can see, nothing changes in comparison to like off-season fields. The exact same field groups, just a little bit more veg, basically. Um, the exact same fields, the exact same more or less diet as well. Okay, back in the office for meal three, which I will show you now. But this is literally all rest days really are for me, is shopping if it needs to be done, a couple of little admin bits, and then just back and forth to the office with work all day. That is literally it. So kitchen, office, kitchen, office, um, and that's that's the way it works, and I wouldn't have it any other way. But there will be days, obviously, over the next while where we maybe go to shows, etc. Or if there's any days, I will kind of bring you along to show you kind of what we do on the days where we're not just being boring and just sitting in working because that really is all it is: training, working, um, eating, and then going to shows, etc. Client shows, etc. Which we will be going to actually um, over the next while as the season starts. So I will take you along with that. But yeah, meal three now, and then I'll crack on with a little bit more work as well. So 125 gram rice, um, 200 chicken, 100 greens, 30 peppers with this one, and obviously mustard. And then we have 150 grams of tinned pineapple, the only one. And then coffee is still there. Who knows, I might drink it, I may not. We will never know. Meal four, chicken, rice, peppers again and macadamia nut oil so you will see 200 chicken 100 rice in this meal 30 peppers and i actually had 100 apple too but i've already eaten the apple i was too hungry so yeah that is meal four um actually jam actually um wrote up on the board all our meals which i'll actually show you so there's our meals there. She has it all mapped out. So yeah, buzzing with that. We needed that for sure. But yes, that is meal four. Meal four, I'll actually go and get another little walk in after this as well. I'll probably have like, you know, a 20 minute walk to get done to box steps off. So I will go and get that done. Then I'll go back, do a bit more work, and then I will try and switch off for the evening as well. And um, once I have meal five, um, that is, our back room where which has a bike and a track pad as well so we're thinking about getting a stairmaster for there because i probably don't have stairmaster but jen probably will but we are get a stairmaster i think she's going to join a gym up the road a local gym to um do cardio in the morning it's only two minutes away that we found so i think that's probably going to be a better bit but um yeah i had a little room right so meal five about to go in um i have finished I'll work for the day. I went on my walk there, boxed the rest of my steps off as well. I like that. I like getting everything boxed off, being able to breathe, then going on that walk, um, really just decompressing, coming back, eating, sitting down. I'm going to watch a bit of um, Fouad's podcast, then I will shower, and then I will sit down and chill out as well. So that's pretty much on the go like until seven in terms of work obviously i had shopping in between that as well at meals but, but yeah that's the rest day pretty much boxed off um had a few bits to, to, to tidy up today so i didn't actually get to have a nap i try and schedule a nap when i can when i'm not too busy but um today i definitely didn't have time because i had a few bits to do um work wise so um yeah i feel great though recover our legs tomorrow and legs feel well recovered which is the first time in quite a while because they they've been fucked over the past while um but yeah meal five we have 100 grams of rice 200 mints 30 peppers 100 green beans and then 200 pineapple so i'm gonna get cracking on this meal five yep last meal going down we have 50 grams of glue, blueberries. <laughs> you you can see. I was going to say blues, <laughs> uh, 100 grams of rice, 60 grams of whey, and then 20 grams of almond butter in that as well. So that is the last meal. Uh, that will go down now, about 9 o'clock. I'll chill out and then we'll get into bed at about 10. So that is the routine at the moment, which we'll probably get to bed earlier and earlier as prep goes on. But that is the current rest day um, schedule, which is pretty boring, as you can see. But look, it is what it is. 
it's what we do. It's how, me, how most rest days actually look as well. So like I said, when things get a bit more exciting, when there are things on, client shows, etc., we'll bring you along. But until then, you're gonna have to just deal with the monotony of of our life, basically. But um, yeah, full day of eating. I'm just gonna run through of what I was doing today, um, including obviously the shop. But other than that guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Like I said, there will be one of these coming weekly, so they will be pretty consistent. So please do like, subscribe, and do share as well. If you did enjoy, I would appreciate it. It would really help. Um, and thank you very much.